Hello everyone, myself Milan Patel. Today we are going to start with yet another biology experiment. We are going to observe transfer section of ovary under dissecting microscope. Before I begin with this experiment, let me ask you, do you know what are ovaries? Okay, let me start or let us begin with learning the parts of flower. Hibiscus flower. As we have learned about flower life from lower classes, that it has got several parts. It has got sepals, these leaf like structure, and the colorful part of the flower that are the petals. The female reproductive part that is the pistil. Okay, so the pistil has stigma, style, and ovary here. And these tiny parts that you can see. These are the male reproductive part that is the stamen. Stamen contains antho and filament. The stalk like structure is the uh, filament and the lobe like structure is antho. Today we are going to observe or rather we are going to see transverse section of the ovary that is the female reproductive part wherein you find the ovules okay ovules are nothing but the uh, female gametes so when the pollen fuse with ovules it lead to fertilization and that is also known as sexual reproduction in flowering plants so once the fertilization occur as you know the zygote will form and it will result in formation of fruit so the ovary will become the fruit and the ovule will become the seed so we are going to observe this ovary under the microscope so let us begin gently remove the petals and separate the female reproductive part from the stalk so once you separate everything you will find section of this hole. In sections, make four to five sections so that you're going to select the best one. With the help of a forcep or a brush, transfer this section into the water plus containing water. Okay, as you can see the sections, you are going to select the best section and you are going to transfer that best section onto the uh, slide. Okay, how you know the, which section is to select? Okay, you, as you can see, few sections are floating. The one which is floating, you can consider as the thinnest and the best one. So you can choose it and you can with the help of a needle or with the help of a brush, you can transfer it very, if you are using a needle, be very careful and gently transfer it onto the, put a drop of water on the slide. With the help of a forcep, cover the slide with the cover slip. Here I have prepared two slides so you see both the slides under the dissecting microscope. Now that the slide 
is ready now it is time to watch it under the microscope okay this microscope is called a dissecting microscope this is not a one which we are normally using i use a compound microscope regularly okay dissecting microscope is used for the dissecting purpose it is only purpose of this is it will help us to zoom the transverse section that we can already see with the eyes okay so let's under observe it under this microscope As you can already see, the ovary section under this dissecting microscope. Now I have changed the power of the lens. Let us observe it under twenty x power. Let me zoom it out. As you can see, the transverse section of the ovary shows the five chambers. Each of these chambers contains ovaries. Ovaries. Are the female gametes, which will fertilize with pollens to form zygote. 